welcome back to my channel. So, so, so excited to be filming this video today because I have seen these all over YouTube and I am obsessed with watching them. So I went to my local TJ Maxx and I found some crazy makeup, like super high-end stuff and like things that I'm just so excited to try, like beyond, beyond excited. So I am going to go through, show you everything that I got and oh my God, the discounts on these things crazy okay i need to start going to tj maxx more because you're gonna be shook when i show you all the stuff that i found like literally you're not even ready okay so first thing i got was an elf camo cc cream i've been wanting to try this and when i saw it at tj maxx literally for 3.99 it's originally six dollars so two dollars off i had to buy it and i think it's a really good shade i put some fake tanner on maybe five days ago four days ago so I think this will be good for when I'm in between shades because it looks like it'll be pretty good. If you were a dedicated beauty YouTube video watcher like I was literally all my life, I think this product was really popular like five years ago, maybe? I'd say five years ago. And it is the No Problem Primer from Touch in Soul. Everyone was raving that it was very pore filling, made your makeup last really long, like super pretty veil. And I found it at TJ Maxx for $9.99 and it's usually $16. So when I saw this, I literally was shook to the ground. Like it triggered so many memories of when I remember people trying this on YouTube. So, and it looks like it's a Korean skin care product, which I never knew. And so I've literally never tried this. Obviously saw a ton of people using it, but now I finally literally cannot wait to try this. The next thing is literally one of the best things that I found. It is 10 out of 10, the thing I am most excited to try. And it is this Jaclyn Hill blush and bronzer duo. I have actually no idea where the packaging is for this or what it was. I think it was like $16. I'll find out how much it was and put it somewhere. When I saw this at a discounted price, you know I had to grab it and the shades, I believe I opened it and took it out of the packaging just so I could see that it wasn't like touched and stuff and then I must have thrown it away but it literally has the stuff on the mirror still so you know it's pretty fresh and it didn't look like it had been swatched or touched and these two colors right now are gonna be perfect for me so you know when I saw this I was over the moon. I am a huge Jaclyn Hill fan. Really love her. She was the first beauty guru that I ever was watching and she literally taught me how to do all my makeup and her makeup looks flawless. Like the most perfect makeup I've ever seen. Personally, this next one is something that I as a nerd am extremely excited for. As a Game of Thrones day one obsessed psycho fan, I saw this revolution forever flawless winter is coming eyeshadow palette i literally saw this and i was like this can't be real this can't be happening is this happening i can't believe a game of thrones eyeshadow palette girl you know i had to buy it obviously she's not the most wearable friendly color story but i'm gonna make something happen and i don't even give a shizzle because this is literally I'm gonna keep this forever, like forever, forever. Just as like a keepsake, like, oh, I love Game of Thrones. If you have, if you have, don't watch Game of Thrones or you haven't seen Game of Thrones, mm -mm 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 -mm. you really need to. This is gonna be beautiful. I literally can't wait. It's so grunge, actually. This is gonna be kind of a great, I think this is actually a really great color story now that I'm thinking about it, like the 90s sort of solid colors on eyeshadow that are coming back and like the grungy blues. This is gonna be a sleigh, so I am so excited to use this. So this is usually $12 and I got it for $7.99. So literally TJ Maxx, I will be coming back. Next thing I got was this ultra matte liquid lip color. It comes with four different liquid lips. These colors are so pretty. Like you can see them up here. They literally look so pretty. I am so excited to try these. I really hope they're good. They didn't look expired or broken up or anything. So, you know, you always have to keep an eye out when you go to discount stores looking for makeup. You do kind of need to look at the liquids, you know, a little, a little closer than you would anything else. This was $8 and I got it for $4.99. Four lipsticks for $4.99? Literally a sleigh. 
Next thing I got was these lip glosses. Again, I got four shades in this. I believe it's the same company, actually. Yeah, it's the same company. It's this... Who is this company? Ellen Tracy. You know, maybe there's a little bit of breaking going on in some of them, but I think it could be just because it was sitting for a while. This was also originally $8 and I have it for $4.99. So literally, I'm so excited to try all of this. And then this last one I did break into already because I really needed to use the black um, pencil liner in this. And so I already have, you know, some initial thoughts on these, but I will be trying to use some of the other shades. We're just gonna hop right into it because I am way too excited and I am losing sunlight. I'm going in with the No Pore Blem Primer by Touch In Soul. I hope it's everything everyone said. Okay, these clips are actually not doing the job. Okay, now I'm ready. I'm just going to hopefully hope the pump isn't broken. So I put basically two pumps on my hand and it feels nice. It feels very slick, a little thicker, like sort of moisturizing. I'm just gonna put it in my T-zone. Definitely feels like it has a little bit of silicone in it, like it has that slip. So we'll see how this does filling my pores. Just really gonna like pack it in. Just sort of pressing it in because it does feel like that silicone. So you do wanna push in silicone primers if we fill up those pores. It definitely feels silicone-y now that it's like on my hands and on my face. Don't always love silicone primers. I wonder if that's ingredients. So it's a water and silicone based primer, which is really interesting. I don't think I see many that are both. It smells sort of like a clean like bathroom, like sort of like soap, but like a more floral soap. I really like it. So I'm letting that sit for just like a couple seconds while I rip open the foundation. I got mine in the shade Light 240W, so I think this will be a good in-between color when I, you know, I'm a few days old on my big tan. Wow, I hope that dog stops. Oh my god. Please stop. They start and they literally don't stop. So we're gonna give it some time and hope that they stop. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna do one and a half pumps. I like, okay. So it definitely feels like a cream sort of foundation, like thicker than any foundation I, you know, you would usually see, but it's definitely giving CC cream, I would say. So I think it's supposed to be a pretty full coverage, which you know I am a fan of. I do think this shade's gonna be perfect. So I love that. Actually, I think I'm gonna go in with a brush on the other side just, just to compare. Right off the bat, it is way full coverage. I definitely think it has low full coverage. It's super, super nice, especially for a baby cream. Like that's pretty damn good. Okay, thankfully I just washed my brushes. So I'm gonna take my newly cleaned foundation brush and stipple this in on this side. Oh my God, yeah. I can already tell that Using a brush, you know, makes it a lot more full coverage. So we'll see. Usually I don't like the finish of a brush as much. But we'll see. It's been a while since I've used a brush. Yeah, it definitely doesn't want to sit as well when using a brush. Because I've been using a retinol and I have been having some dryness. So with the brush side, it looks like it's really emphasizing that. I'm just going to smooth it out with a sponge. Definitely, I noticed though you do get more, a little bit more, like I would say solid full coverage with a brush, but I think you still get very close with the sponge side. So I will say though, I am definitely getting a lot of clinging to my dry skin because even with the sponge side, it's just like really, clinging to the dry skin, which is unfortunate because I like the shade, I like the foundation. I think 
that if you have dry skin, like dry spots where your skin is like, I don't know, you, I think you would like this. I would probably really like this if I exfoliated my skin more, like with a physical exfoliator, just because I've been using a retinol, like a stronger retinol recently. And I'm having some dry skin on my chin and on my lip on my forehead a little so it definitely doesn't look the best in that regard if you have yeah any sort of dry skin that you have not exfoliated off it is going to cling very badly to that but that's sort of my own fault for not exfoliating enough i do think i would really like this if i just exfoliated better it gives really nice coverage and i like how it looks so far you know when you're not getting close and you don't see my dry spots. Okay, I'm gonna quickly do the rest of my creams and then come back and we can get into the Jaclyn Hill palette. Okay, so I did my concealer part of my face and did my brows and it looked a little scary, but usually I do cream bronzer and cream blush, but because I really wanna see how this does, cause this is my first time trying Jaclyn's bronzer and blush and they're both powders so i am definitely trying to see how they perform i'm gonna grab this angled brush for the bronzer it looks like it's gonna be a really nice shade for me so i'm very excited i am going to heal Oops. oh i love doing this oh love that beautiful mirror oh my god it's so big that's perfect okay i'm gonna just start off light here and just bronze like i normally would oh i definitely like the shade i was a little worried it would be too warm perhaps but wow does that look pretty it's like a perfect sort of a neutral shade sort of like a perfect neutral shade. Which is perfect because I am in that neutral family, babe. Like I am right there in the middle. Oh, it blends so nicely. It's like pigmented, but not too pigmented. Oh, wow. Oh yeah. That bronze on my face so nicely. That is so pretty. It's like the most perfect shade what, what shade did i get so this is in the shade pick me up and this is the shade oh honey pick me up is exactly the bronzing shade that i need for when i'm like i feel like it might be a little too light for when i'm actually tan but i do think it kind of builds nicely actually very very easy to blend i mean that was so nice. I look so bronzed. It went on like a dream. It's such a beautiful shade. Little contour hack. If you run it down your neck, it makes your neck look thinner. Just a little hack for you. Like, I'm obsessed. I mean, I knew her stuff was good, but trying it firsthand, like, that went on so smoothly, so evenly, no patches, blended beautifully, not too harsh, not too pigmented. Perfect, I must say. All right, now to try the blush. She's a blush girl, and so am I, so I'm really hoping this is a nice shade. It's not too pigmented again, but it's just like perfect. I actually think I'm obsessed with this shade of blush. What is this again? Oh Honey is the shade of blush. And it's such a pretty, like, true pink like borderline baby doll like it's like a peony almost that's what it gives i will say it might be a little too light so my gosh does it build so beautifully especially with the bronzer like that is definitely the shade of blush that you want i must say i am going in you know i'm like kind of going in because I love blush, so it's definitely not too pigmented or scary for those that don't want to go in with a heavy hand. Like, perhaps if you do go in with a heavy hand, you would, I think, be obsessed with this blush formula because, oh my god, it just goes on so nicely. Not too heavy at all, but it is definitely buildable. It's not as pigmented, though, as I was sort of hoping. You know, I'm hoping that it lasts 
you know, throughout the day because I feel like almost part of me in my head is like, the more I'm blending it, is it going away? No, definitely not. Oh my gosh, the most cutest, prettiest blush color though. Like once you build it up, mm -hmm, that's a good blush. That's a good blush shade. It looks cute as heck. Jacqueline, you really know what you're doing girl. I'm just gonna put a little on my nose because I like to do that. Love this. Oh my God, if you can find this at TJ Maxx, great bronzer and a very, very beautiful blush shade. And when you build it up, it's a stunner. Okay, so that is it for the face. Um, next, I just have eyes. So I'm gonna finish my face real quick and come back and we can start the eyes. just recording the whole time great great okay so I did my highlighter and set my face with setting spray so now we get to get in to the Game of Thrones palette oh yeah these are gonna be such fun shades it's giving ergo proxy if you know you know I have another one of these revolution palettes which I am obsessed with I think they are such great palettes, such a good deal. The shadows are amazing. These feel just like the one I already have and have used. You can watch the video, which I tried that, if you feel up to it. There's one more I gotta, I gotta swatch this like iridescent, like blue, do you see that? Ooh, it's got like a purple shift. Just one more. Oh yeah, I wonder if you can tell it has like, an interesting sort of purpley shift when it like hits the light just right. Very cute. However, I do think I'm gonna go with just short of a, you know, using these neutral brown. I think I'm gonna do a tutorial with this palette and doing something very blue because I do know the shadows are already really freaking great. Um, I do think I want to do like maybe a Game of Thrones palette inspired look with this. I think that would be a lot of fun. It's so grungy and 90s to me. I feel like I could do a really good grunge 90s look with this. So I think I'm going to save the blues for that, but I'm going to go in with sort of the more neutral shades and just come up with something a little, just a little cute, a little, a little normy, if, I, if you will. So I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna take the absolute lightest shade. It's called Honor. Oh my God, they literally have names. I, you can like almost barely see them because they're in a dark blue. Should have chose a better um, font color because it's hard to see, but I'm just gonna lay this down all over my lid just as a base for everything else to blend smoothly on. That is such a cute name. What are the other ones? White Raven, North, Warning, Wolf's Blood, Safety. Safety's a little weird. Not very on brand. Crypt, Wall of Ice, Moto, Moto, M O T T O, Moto. I have no idea what that is. I am a huge Game of Thrones fan and I have literally never heard that before. Okay. House of Stark, Winterfell, Courage, Hunter, White Walker, Coldness, Lord, Dire Wolf, Night Sky. They definitely gonna come with a little better than that. Like, no John Snow. Literally. Mm, they definitely gonna come a little, little harder with the names, but that's just me being a super fan. Anywho, I just laid down that very light shade. I think I know what I'm gonna go for. It's gonna be very simple. I'm just gonna take another little blendy fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with Crypt, it's just sort of like a yellowy um, neutral. Ooh, again, not really showing up. Okay, I'm gonna go in, scratch that. I'm just gonna scratch that whole shade. It doesn't really show up. So I'm gonna go in with Courage. There's just three of those kind of tan shades. So I'm gonna go in with Courage. A little more cool tone. I'm just gonna throw this into the crease. Sort of the same. <laughs> shade again as my skin cut off. So not great neutral transitions, 
um, unless you are very fair. I feel like when I am extremely pale, these colors will be great for transitioning just because they're just sort of a step cooler um, or a bit more colored than my skin, which is just very white. <sighs> that didn't really do anything. Okay, looks like we are gonna go in with the other shades because those aren't really working out very well. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna do the 90s sort of grunge right now. Maybe I'll use this again another time for like a blue look. I think I need to go in with Lord here. Actually, I'm gonna go in with Dire Wolf. Ooh, we are not, we have no plan here. We have no plan. I think I'm gonna do this whole eye look off camera, come back, show you what I come up with. Okay, so I just did my eyes. I think they turned out really, really cute. Um, just a little something, I don't know, a little bit 90s scrum. House Stark as the glitter, and I really just used Winterfell and Direwolf and then Courage to kind of blend in my crease and on my lower lash line. And great shadows. I mean, these Revolution palettes are really good, so I can't wait to try more of the colors and do a more blue look possibly in another video. So I'm gonna go in with the eyeliner and I have used the black. I really needed it, so I had to break into the packaging, hence why it is open. But I'm gonna try going in with this gold. Um, it looks like it will maybe be good. I am not too sure because I did try, again, I did break into them already and I did try the pink one at one point and was very unimpressed. It did not really work at all. It was extremely dry. I'm going to try using this gold and putting it on my lower waterline and see if it doesn't perform a little better than I know that the pink did. Ugh. So I just tried doing it in my lower waterline and it is literally not wanting to go at all. Like, wow. Even if I really go in on it, it does not want to pretty much show up at all. Like, can you even see anything? I doubt it. So again, not a huge fan of the colored ones. I'm probably gonna trash the colored ones, but I am gonna show you why I like the black one. And you know, these all together, I believe were like $3.99, something like that. It's just like a regular black. It's opaque, goes on nicely, but it's not super black either. So honestly, the eyeliners were a bit of a dud. So I would say you can skip them if you see them. I'm going to choose a lip color out of this little kit. So it comes with these four beautiful colors. I feel like this one is gonna be the easiest to kind of match my eye look. It's a little bit more of a neutral nudie pink. And these are all a bit more colored, you know, fuchsia, light pink, coral, so. Very, very, very pretty though. So I hope the formula is good in this one because I would love to try those other colors. Very, very cheap applicator right off the bat. So that's great. Um, but that's just packaging. Packaging is very small. You get them for $4.99 though. Nine, so obviously um, not the best, you know, highest end quality. And originally it is $8. I would even say for $8, four of these is I mean, I guess it's not bad. It's like $2 a lip, but I'm just gonna go right in. Ooh, it's very, very lightweight. I'm just gonna go in a second time. It says this is an ultra matte liquid lip color and putting this on, it feels very glossy, like a gloss. And it's got very streaky light coverage. Like I'm definitely not impressed with the formula. I don't know, can you tell? It's like kind of glossy. So I'm gonna wait just a couple minutes because it's clearly getting dark already. I'm just gonna wait a couple minutes and then see if this mats down. It feels very glossy though. I don't know why it says ultra matte. So I don't know. Okay, there's actually no way this is going to dry. It is literally a lip gloss. I'm gonna zoom you in. Okay, it's already been like a minute and look at this. It is literally a gloss. I don't know why they were labeled that. I'm a little nervous for the lip glosses now, but we're gonna see if they're any good. 
because they're a lip gloss and I mean, I don't know, how can you go bad with a lip gloss? So I'm gonna go in again with the most, I'm gonna go in with the most nude version. It's sort of just like a really light color. Interesting applicator. If you can see, it's like literally just a two. Okay, I'm just gonna put some on my lip and rub it around. Ugh. I guess I'll just use my finger. Got a little bit more better lighting here now, but it's extremely glossy, as you can probably tell. Very, very glossy. I really actually like those. God, but the applicator is a nightmare. I'm just gonna, I guess, continue to put it on with my fingers because I do really like it. It's like very comfortable, like on the watery side, but it's like, it really makes your lips look like juicier and plumper in a way because it's very, very glossy and very smooth, not sticky at all. So I would almost say that skip on the ultra mattes. These ultra mattes are literally not matte at all. And they are very, very not opaque. And I would just get these tinted lip balms because they're very, very glossy and a great price. Let me see. They don't test on animals, so love that for the brand. There's mineral oil as the first ingredient. I don't know, the glosses are pretty cute. I hate the applicator though, so if you're working at Ellen Tracy, go you for not testing on animals, but you need to get a new application because if it was just a doe fit, that would be so cute. But look how glossy it is, it's so cute. So that is the full face look with all of my TJ Maxx makeup finds. I thought this was so fun and I loved going to TJ Maxx and finding these super luxe kind of makeup products, but at a super discounted price. I will say though that this primer, I don't know if it did a ton. I do think it did an okay job of sort of blurring out my face a little bit, but then again, my face always sort of looks blurred when, actually, I do think that my face has sort of like a veiled blur because of the primer, so, I'm excited to keep trying this. You know, I think for primers, you need to like continue to try them in order to find out if the result is consistent and it actually works. So I'm gonna definitely keep trying that and I will probably update in a trials video at some point. I really did like this foundation. I think I just need to exfoliate my skin a little bit better. Um, after everything is all said and done though, I don't think my skin looks bad at all. I think it looks actually very pretty. So I'm excited to keep trying this as well. And then again, obviously the Jaclyn Hill bronzer and blush duo was so awesome. I love, love, love the bronzer and the blush. I think they're so pretty, such great shades, such great formula. 10 out of 10, really like this. If you see this, this is my favorite find at TJ Maxx. So if you can find it, I would highly recommend that you snag it while you can. Obviously the eyeshadow palette, I only used a few shades, but I do know that the Revolution formula is a really nice affordable eyeshadow formula. So I really love this. It's Game of Thrones, can't go wrong. I'm a super fan. And I'm excited to try more very, very grunge 90s looks. So I'm excited to continue to try this and of course support my day ones Game of Thrones because I'm a super fan, like I said for the millionth time. Lip glosses by Ellen Tracy, I would definitely just grab their warning sign, you get four of them. I think they're a really great gloss, like it's extremely glossy and I think it's very, very pretty. These, I mean, I'm gonna swatch just this darkest shade. Yeah, like that is a gloss. Like there is no way that's going to matte down. It is literally extremely glossy and not opaque at all. So I would 110% skip on these. I'm probably never going to use them. So kind of unfortunate. And then again, I 110% do not think you should buy these. I mean, what were they like? 4.99, 3.99, something like that. Literally big fat pass on those because they don't work and the black is not impressive enough to warrant buying it. I mean, I guess it's still the cheapest probably eyeliner um, that you can probably find at a store. But again, I don't know. I think it's a little bit of a waste of money because it's just like, you could definitely find a better one that you will use way more often that, you know, 
will be better, will like last longer, be more opaque, all the things. So big fat pass on the liners. That is the end of this video. I am very excited to go to Marshalls. I'm definitely gonna do a Marshalls version of this video because it's so fun seeing what they have there, especially when they have name brand, higher end stuff at a discounted price. Like that is, I am a bargain chaser. So that is like my bread and butter is just finding and going out and shopping and then finding good deals. So I'm very excited to do, do the next ideation of this, which is going to be the Marshalls version. This was so fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you can find some of the good products at your TJ Maxx because they have some really good deals there. I mean, you really gotta go and you gotta check it out. Thank you for watching and watching until the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to see all my other fun videos that I have planned. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.